guys, how's it going? Start off this Monday's tour. Hey, was it? 26th of February. Um, in the fighter pod in the shed. Now I've moved a few chillers in here, some of the shorter ones, getting a bit crowded in the one upstairs. Um, at the back we've got Cherry Bomb number 16. At the front the three there are Habanero Chocolate. And you notice I keep my little watering can in there as well just to keep the water in the feed at the right temperature. Okay then, so in the greenhouse, Spud's chitting away nicely. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go through these again in a minute just to make sure they're all up the right way, you know. Oh, there we are, look. Hey, I'll turn them around. I'll do it properly in a minute. Lemongrass still growing well. All the leeks are up now. Bonus, got plenty of leeks this year. Uh, red flash onions and the shallots, they go outside for a little holiday when it's nice weather, but it's, uh, it is blowing like a mad thing out there at the moment, so I'm not going to put them out today. Rest of the onions at the back, they're doing very well. Constant watering now, sat on the uh, Spider Farmer SF600, as you know. And the uh, leeks from the Heritage Seed Lobby, these two here, Coward and King and Longa, they're doing alright as well. Yeah, so it's a constant battle with water at the moment. At the top there, on top of the uh, top SF600, the mammoth leeks have germinated, but nothing from the onion, how's it, the boretta, or whatever you call them. I'll put a thing on the screen in a minute. And the original sowing of the mammoth onions, the five there, they're still going okay. Gonna get more from the second sowing, if you look. Is there more? Hang on, is there more in there? Not many though, considering that was like half a packet of seeds between the other uh, two sow-ins. Okay, back onto the other stuff. Where are we then? Oh. Right, sweet peas, they're coming out very soon and I've lost one. Look, one's gone. There were three in there. Okay then, down the bottom. Chili's doing alright. Had a little bit of aphid infestation. As you'll see with these curly leaves, good clue. But it's all gone now, so... Uh, Welsh onions, number 31, they're doing all right. And the poor bellow leeks, they're growing well. Around the bottom again. Nothing from the recent sowings there. And the ginger's not poking out just yet. Now that's the first sowing of Cape Gooseberries there. The second lot are indoors on my tropical fish tank. Is that all right? And the, um, the zebrun, they're all coming up okay. I've said this before, you're probably not supposed to do this and put the, the plants on top of the lights, but they do benefit from that little bit of heat. I mean, it's not hot. No, it, it, just, it just takes the edge off it, you know. It's sort of warmer than ambient. Yeah. Here we are then, um, upstairs then. Next video, I'll show you how to set up um, one of these um, thermostats and how to stop it flickering or how to stop it flickering when you're recording. Okay then, upstairs now, um, the Vitapod under the SF1000 Spider Farmer light. Tell you what's lovely under here, nice and warm. The, um, the Vitapod itself, it's seldom heating up, if you know what I mean. It's only on now and again. Um, well, as you can notice the change. I've taken the top, the uh, second layer off. It was getting a bit too humid in there and these were touching the top. I don't want to go to a third layer because that's heck of a challenge for me to water. And the um, there we are, the uh, sweet peppers, they're doing very well. Nothing from the citrina there and the paprika. So second sow of paprika going in very soon. One more thing to show you downstairs and uh, that'll be it for today. And here's the last bit, just a few aubergines left now, sold a few, and again look, aphids, aphids, absolute nightmare. That's why I brought these outside to give them a spray, I haven't sprayed these yet. Okay, that's it for now guys. Catch you, uh, well, next week, into March, god blimey. <laughs>